The worst industrial accident the world has ever known. That is one description of the Chernobyl disaster of 1986, and it is with the looming 30th anniversary of the nuclear reactor explosion in the former Soviet Union in mind that a conference was called in Prague this week to examine the ongoing health risks from the incident. Chris Johnston reports. The Nuclear Energy Conference was organised in Prague by Green and anti-nuclear groups to highlight the health legacy of the Chernobyl incident 30 years on, and what organisers say are the often played-down dangers in Western Europe of keeping aged nuclear reactors operating and building new ones. As well as the upcoming April 26th anniversary of Chernobyl, the conference was given extra relevance by last week's decision of the Czech nuclear safety watchdog to give an unlimited permit for the Czech Dukovany reactor to continue operation. The 1986 reactor is the oldest in the country, and the decision sparked condemnation in next door Austria. One of the main speakers at the conference was British radiologist Ian Fairley, who's just completed Torch 2016, an update of a 2006 study mapping the effects and likely health impact of the Chernobyl disaster. One of the innovations has been the charting of levels of iodine 131, a significant cause of thyroid cancers, after the disaster. This is what Dr. Fairley had to say. This is a world first for you people. Nobody else knows this. These maps. New. Hardly anyone knows about them. Cesium maps, they're old. Hydrogen maps are new. And he says the new maps provide startling findings for around a third of the Austrian population living in the Vienna region, but also a significant proportion of the Czech population. This is Austria, where we have a detailed map, and just here on the north part is Czech Republic, of course. For your interest, Vienna region really go bad. But so did the Czech Republic too, and you can see here Prague area, and here Brno, it was high deposition of iodine. We estimate that 40,000 people in Europe will die or have fatal cancers as a result of Chernobyl. The report points out that thyroid cancers in Austria have more than doubled since 1986. Women traditionally have more cases than men, and other studies in the Czech Republic suggest thyroid cases are rising by around 2.6 percent a year. The study says between 8 and 41 percent of the extra thyroid cancer cases in the Vienna region are probably caused by the Chernobyl cloud. The study says other health impacts from Chernobyl are higher instances of leukemia, most cancers, heart disease, birth defects, and mental disease. The report complains that the impact of Chernobyl continues to be underestimated by the World Health Organization and the International Atomic Energy Authority, and that funding of detailed studies of the health impacts across Europe is still lacking.